All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hill Creek Outdoors got another video for you today. We are going to be utilizing the uh, 2022 Ranger XP 1000. We do have the Crew Cab Edition. We got another video for you today where Kimimoto sent us another product. Um, this one's going to be just like some of the other boxes we have for storage. Um, I know you've seen the videos we've posted probably on um, the two the different storage boxes that you can put in the rear of the bed. Um, that kind of just pop in and out like this. Um, so we got a new a new box here that's going to take up the entire back here. And we're going to get you an unboxing of that installation. We're going to go over all the features on it. Some of the weight capacity. I mean, you can stand on this thing. It's, it's completely durable. Um, and then show you all the different features. So let's go ahead and get this unboxed. We'll bring you in close. And hey, all the stuff that we're going to be putting up here and that we feature on the channel... We'll be putting a description in the, um, or I'm sorry, a link in the description there below where you guys can purchase this. Um, makes it just quick and easy. I know a lot of people have reached out to me and said they really appreciate the links. It just makes things a lot simpler for you guys. And we're, we're glad that we can provide value for you guys on that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this video. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's roll. All right, so here we go. We, get, we already got this all cut up, but it comes in a big old box and some plastic here. And I have not seen this yet, so we're going to... Actually, let me roll it on the side here and try to slip it out. That way we can keep this box intact. This box could actually be useful for something else. So we'll see what all comes here in the box. Throw that off to the side. Comes in this plastic here. Looks like we're going to have to cut it. They got some tape on here. Looks like it's a, once again, really good quality, um, high thick plastic. Ooh, it's got some interesting latches here. Flip this over. All right. These look like real hot, heavy duty latches. Wonder if they utilize a key. I wonder if the key's inside. Let's let's take a look. We got a little drizzle going on here behind us. That'll be all right. Oh, we got some more of these tie downs. It looks like so we got tie downs, some sort of strapping system. What's this? Get that box out of here. This appears to be. Some type of metal brackets. That says front. Or R and R. So we'll see what those are. I guess we should probably get the instructions out and see what all this stuff is, huh? Alright, so we got two of these brackets. They're, you're supposed to get a right and a left. We got two R's. You can see that, but they, they look like they're the same um, according to the instructions. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw these on um, each side here like this, one on both sides. And then we're going to throw these down in here like this on the side of the bed. And we'll tighten it down and get it secure. And it also comes with some keys for your latches where you can lock them down. So let's go ahead and do that. gonna try to just see where it's gonna fit before we put these anchors on okay see how that fits just like that let me jump down bring you in closer here to show you fits in there nice and real nice you can see how these are and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those in we'll move this out and then we'll uh, throw those tie down things in we'll go from there all right guys so you've seen me use these before um, what we're going to do with this though we're going to take this out and utilize the washer on top make sure you push this 
all the way into that rubber. That way you don't lose it down into your bed. Uh, get this a little lubricated. That way you can spin it in there a little bit easier. And it will push right down in like so. We're going to do this for all four corners before we uh, throw the box on here and tighten it down. All right, so now we got all those in all four corners. We're going to make sure this is snug. And that will get us ready to tighten it up and put it in a good spot so we know where this is at. So we're going to snug it down on both sides. Now we'll put it in place. Starting to drizzle rain on us. That's all right. Part of it. We've needed the rain and we've, we sure have gotten it. So thank goodness for that. All right, so now we just slip this down in here. You don't want to push, you want to get it started. That way that bottom piece doesn't come up out of the rubber or fall out. And you just snug that down. This will give you an extra tie down point too. So right there, and you can tighten it down once you get them all started. All right, so now we got this all put in here, got everything secured. Um, it comes with these Velcro things. These are for your tactical thing on inside here. Um, one thing I did notice, this box, you can hear it hits the window. I'm not too keen on that. I can see somebody opening that real quick and potentially breaking that window, so you'll have to be mindful of that. It does have these tactical uh, grates. You can utilize these, um, strap things down to it. And it'll keep it nice when you do that. Or you can remove these, which I'll show you that right now. All right, so there's your tactical. Um, I'm just going to use a piece of wood. But what you can do is you'll loosen it up. And you can throw um, anything in here. It goes across the side. And then you can tighten it down. See it? Make it snug. And you, you have four straps that you can bo do both sides. So I just do the one for, for here, and then the other one will be like that. This will shut. It does latch. Like, that one's not latching all the way here. So let's see. That one's latching, but this one's like, seems not to be latching very well. Let's see if we lock this one, if it'll stay. Comes, comes with these keys. There. It's locked now, so it's staying. One thing I want to show you guys is how durable this is. I mean, look at this. Right? This makes another seat even if you're hauling people. Uh, you can have them sit here. Pretty nice if you're going to the woods or something like that. I mean, you can stand on it. Look at this. Right? It's pretty durable, so no issues there. See, this one locks down real easy, has a key. That one was giving me a little trouble, but I think it, it'll be good once it gets used a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead and take this for a ride and see how it rattles around or if, it, if it's real solid. Um, I mean, you can see me pushing the whole thing, the whole unit's moving, so I think it's going to be good. Let's go take it for a ride and see what happens. Alright guys, so that's a wrap. We got it all installed. Um, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kimimoto, once again, they have great products. Um, this thing's really sturdy. Um, you can stand on it, sit on it, fill it up. It's got tons of space inside, tons of storage. It's got this ability to move this uh, tactical rack where you can put it in the front or put it inside here, just like this other side on this side. Um, it does have a weather sealing to where everything inside is dry. Um, once again, you saw where it's completely passed through. Um, you can put tons of things in there. So you can also put probably, yeah, I bet you could put fishing rods in here if you wanted to do that, if you're a fisherman. All different sorts of things you can utilize with it. Once again, this will be in the description below, a link for it, if you guys would like to purchase it. Um, once again, we appreciate Kimimoto for sending us this product. And I hope you guys enjoyed. So without further ado, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see you.